Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Sean. And I'm Sarah. Today we're going to be looking at all the different kind of spinners and variations there are of them. If you've been to any kind of uh, elementary school or high school or any been school. online on YouTube, you'll see everyone's talking about these crazy spinner fidget toys that there are. And even they're beginning to sell them in 7-Eleven. So let's take a look at, you know, what kind of makes them kind of popular and kind of fun to play with as well as the different material types. So we see we have a tri-spinner, all plastic. That's one of the variations that, that they come in. We have a couple of those. Then we have the metal, which also has a tri-spinners or just a two-sided. And they're gonna be made and even some decorative ones. I like this one. Whoa, look at that. A little shield and cross. And then, um, so those are, these are brass. Then here's a, a lightweight aluminum. So. And this one's a mix between plastic and brass. It has um, a, the brass part in the middle where you spin it. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's take a look at, you know, let's talk about um, the kind of idea behind this. I mean, one, you get to kind of fidget with your hand a little bit. And two, when you start to spin it, especially with the tri-spinners, what happens is it's just like uh, bicycle tires or motorcycle tires, the centrifugal force is gonna wanna keep it going in a similar direction. So if you were to kind of tweak it a little bit, you can kind of feel it pull back on your hand. So you get a little sensation of, uh, of that extra weightiness in your hand as well. That's with the, with the three side of the tri-spinners. Same thing with the metal. This one has more of a pull because it has more rim weight, more weight on the outside, being that it's a thicker, heavier metal on the outside. Now when you start getting into the uh, two-sided ones, they have a little bit chunkier of a feel when you move it. Kind of like uh, if, you're, if you've ever been in a car with bad rotors and you hit the brakes and da, 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 da. That's what that feels like because you only have two points trying to realign itself as opposed to the three sides. Yeah. Um, so other than that, I mean, I guess it goes just into bearings. Yes, uh, one of our quiet, quietest ones is the plastic ones, the three plastic ones. Um, those are one of my favorites, but it just doesn't like vibrate as much. And then there's this plastic one and metal one. It's louder, but it's also smooth. Like it doesn't have that vibration. This, um, yeah. this metal one, this two metal one, um, vibrates a lot, but is also loud at the same time. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the difference on that, what's gonna make it loud or quiet is gonna be what kind of bearings it has in it. Some have steel bearings and some have really nice ceramic bearings. Mm -hmm. So the ceramic bearings and then whatever kind of oil that they use are uh, it's kind of what, what dictates how loud it is. And you can always pop the caps off of, off of all of these to get to the, to the bearings. Mm -hmm. You can see on that one, or the on kind the, of black, yeah. really nice kind of ceramic bearing in there. And if you need to go in there and hit it with some grease. Or in the metal ones, you screw them off, and it looks kind of like this. Bad choice. That one's a little kind of wedged in there because of the cool glazing it has. Cool. So, these spinners do get a little bit addicting sometimes, mm -hmm. but they're easy to take with you on long road trips or if you're just like watching a video and like your hands have nothing to do or like you're just like kind of like just sitting there, mm -hmm. you can just get a fidget spinner and just start sp spinning it. Mm -hmm. Maybe use it as self-defense too, a little, <laughs> little knuckle punch. Or ninja stars. Ninja star, hey. <laughs> what if that slipped and I actually hit my camera? That'd be <laughs> funny. Yeah. So yeah, kind of fun to have around. My favorite is this brass one that's uh, weighty because it has a really good sensation of pulling back. Or um, if you've seen the other video, the fancy one, this one's mine, because it, it looks cool. Um, one of my favorites is either this one or this black one. That's because I don't let them have the other two. Or not this one, but this, black, this white and black one, because um, this one's more quiet, and if you're like in class, you can like play with it. And then this one, it vibrates a lot, but it is louder. So, yeah. And if you get a lot of them like us and you're bored, then you can try to uh, stack them all on the counter, on the table. 
See if we can keep them spinning. No, no worries. It's a challenge. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, my hand, yeah. finger hit it. So that's the idea with spinners. Go pick up one or two, or eight or nine. A lot of different kinds. Going to be addicting. Really like the FTL brand. They kind of make some of these fancy ones. And so yeah. we got it stacked. That's the idea behind spinners. So look for uh, ones with good ceramic bearings or just you think are going to look cool or be nice. Uh, just know that there's a difference between a three-sided and a two-sided as far as like when you take it off axis, like how that chunkiness and that feel is going to be. Smoother, smoother with the three-sided. Definitely chunkier feeling with the, with the two-sided ones. Thank you. Remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below. And, yeah. Tell us how noisy these spinners are on the table.